procrastination. Live for it. <laughs> well, have fun with your uh, with your studies. Uh, I'm sure you'll smash it out and write a masterpiece. But uh, yeah, thank. You. I've been doing. I've been doing well. Uh, thanks for popping by. I'll be uh, streaming again tomorrow from about seven, eight o'clock. Uh, be playing some Divinity: Original Sin two. Actually, doing some story, solo stuff. So we playing the game properly rather than dicking about with friends. Okay. We bring. I want to bring Tally because we're fighting a load of Geff. Liara's for yeah, fuck it, bring Liara. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. I got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Yeah, they got the generic things. <laughs> oh no, the bugs, weird spider things explode. Doing back there. Hack you? Never mind. I was hacking. I'll hack the thing in front of you instead. Cause I didn't aim for you. Wow. Oh, I'm dead. Caught me off guard. Oh dear. And I gotta start the entire mission again, right? Right. Cause uh, yeah, checkpoints that don't exist on a. Uh, Mass Effect, you got a quick save every time there's no fucking enemies on screen. Was it two o'clock? Right. Uh, maybe I should just not stream. Maybe I should just call it call it there. It's interesting though that the you're willing to use like the who they pick and choose what powers to use they use their powers on is kind of weird. I guess rocket troopers and big the big guys, yeah, fair game, but Enemies around the corner that won't let me. Heading out. Of 
God damn, that's a lot of fucking rockets. Oh, damn, there's only two of them. Oh, no, wait, that's a... Uh... Juggernaut. Well, the Juggernaut. I thought the Juggernaut was supposed to... Oh, damn, that's spammy. That's actually spammy. Hmm. Liara still doesn't even have a, uh, a Colossus for herself, so she's still stuck at one mod, mod slot. Oh, the amount of rockets flying towards us there was a bit much though, right? Trooper, get rid of you. Are you fighting everybody else? Yeah, I'm unprotected. I need, you know, use my shields. Might as well. Save if the enemy, if our team is still aggroed. Damn, this is sanity though. Fuck. Okay, you, you know, hack. There you go, hack you. Okay, good luck, guys. Gaff Trooper. Ugh. You know what? Throw you in the river. Fuck you, get out of here. Try to climb back up. We dinged. I like dings. More damage protection. Uh, shield boost. Sure. Why not? And more shields. Uh oh. Uh, Gaff sniper. That's not good. Singularity, help us. to some of these though is there you're just a pit stop to kill enemies and get substandard loot oh uh I don't like how close that was getting to us Oh shit, the guy, the, the guy that we threw is still here. Oh, 
Ich mal. Ah, completely missed. Shit, another one's firing at us. Oh shit, our car's about to fucking blow up. Oh, that's, a, that's only a mini one as well. That's not even a real arm armature. Okay, we're probably gonna die when we get into this car. Oh wow, we, did, we didn't. A Christmas miracle. Might need two repairs. No? Uh, yeah, we got we got full full repair out of it. That's not too bad. Number exoskeleton, kinetic coils, a sledgehammer rounds. Okay. Give her the kinetic exoskeleton, why not? Gives her shields and whatever the fuck. Oh Jesus Christ, that damn near killed me. I should've just I should have saved the game and fucking come back to it. Our ride is getting completely fucked up here. Not now, Shepard. Lead on, Commander. Frictionless materials, can I say Kyle? Okay. Uh, Liara, what are you were using? Ah, oh, rail extension. Oh, right, you. Kyle, okay, weapons. I don't even know if that even helps. Helps Rex. Uh, accuracy. AI, so it's an aimbot. Right, let's just load the game and hopefully that will, uh, Refresh well that uh, at least at bare minimum refresh the vehicle shields. Okay, the car actually is healed up a little bit as well, that's good. Alright, you got this is a this is like a fork in a road, so you can we can go either way and get Go either way.
Okay, fuck whittling it all down with no how we'll just finish it off. Trick to killing these is you just fucking knock them over with the Mako and then fire your missile into them. Just stun lock the hell out of them. They're only an issue if they've got other enemies with them. Okay, I like, I like it when it attacks miss and still hit me. Got frictionless materials ten though. Wait, I need that. What? You can actually knock them off into the into the ocean as well if 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 you finesse it enough. But you got to get out of the car if you want to get all the full full XP. Okay, so the amateurs, the small ones, Colossus is the uh, big ones. Then again, the amateurs are still pretty big. I can actually hack the amateurs still, though. Oh, that's a sniper. I'm trying to hope it. I oh, wanted to save the game, but no. We must find a way to disable their artillery. Plan, isn't it? I don't even see the gun. Uh oh. Yay! Off you go! <laughs> Sniper, I just hack you. I don't even know if there's any more enemies left for him to even snipe. Nah, I suppose it doesn't matter, he's dead now. Uh, Sable. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out.
ready to go, Shepard. Where's this AA gun? Hey! That's just rude. Get sit down. Is it that there? I guess I can barely just vaguely see it. I suppose you want to blow up the uh, next gate of enemies. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on with this game? Yeah, he blew himself up. Point black rockets hurt enemies. They hurt. They hurt themselves. Like that. Running to see you running towards us. You. <laughs> you know what? To be fair, like I used to, sh I used to kind of shit on the uh, the whole active power squad power f thing, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of fun. Letting the squad just fire off, though. I will imagine like there'll be. Gate controls activate. Okay, that gate's already open. We don't need to. Oh, wait, is it already open? No, it isn't already open. I already need to. I need to open it. I mean, there might. There'll be a situation. That was the final gate. Our path to the Solarian camp should be clear from here. But uh, yeah, there's something about the. Uh, you know, there might be a situation where it's like, oh shit, something's coming towards me. I need to use. Use a singularity or lift. Oh, it's not available. It's on cooldown. Saying that, these guys, their cooldowns are pretty much at the best they're going to be now. So, thanks to getting lucky and getting that savant. Ugh. Getting the savant uh, out of camp. down at the base but it looks like we're grounded the solarian captain can explain when you get here all right god can we drive faster please where's the turbo where's the... pedal pedal to pedal or whatever whatever the kids say so what are we supposed to do now Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible?
Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough anger. I like how he changed out of his armor. Everybody changed out of their armor. What the fuck? Uh. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Okay. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Fishing? I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're building up suspense, whatever. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Seren must be stopped. Oh, there's Rantola. Hey, look, we, we're an engineer. We can actually hack this thing. There's actually a few, like, exclusive items here that you can miss out on if you don't have the, uh, thing. Okay, let's see what you, you sell. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rantola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. I've been trying to warn the Council about Saren since this started. Then I hope they find the sense to listen, before it's too late. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Okay, Banshee. Ah! Riker, Medigel, Upgrade, Shaw. Not really much to go on, is there? Oh well. and see me after you've spoken with the Krogan. The mission will succeed. The captain will not have it any other way. If we fail, no one will hear of it. If we succeed, same result. I look at you. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't... My brood? Wow. Cold way of going to family. We better succeed, human. We still feel the toll of the Krogan rebellion. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. Ah. Communications relay. Codex. Yeah, look at that. Codex entry. Exclusive to anybody that has uh, decryption. Have access to decryption. Because apparently, even though we've got all of our squad here, we can't hack this unless Shepard themselves has uh, decryption. So... Pretty missable. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna go good by Rex. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. 
say that that family reference is uh, what we is thrown in if we do the armor quest line. Yeah, we are. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? It'll take more than a predator pistol to cook and kill me. No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Yay, we dinged and we got a lot of Paragon points. Boo! In fact, we've got an extra point in power and charm now. But, when, because of the family armor, we don't even need to level up charm or intimidate. It's all good. Watch that Krogan of yours. Who knows what he'll do once you're in the breeding chamber. What? <laughs> I was thinking, I thought you were going to allude to him betraying us, but once we're in the breeding chambers, what do you think he's going to do? Just go, turn up and pull his pants down? Start fucking waving his quads? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> just say the word. I'm ready to go. Ready to go? Oh, we've got a nuclear bomb that you could go on. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. I will fight with fire for you, Commander. Fight with fire? Okay. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the team. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Yeah. This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Yeah, take Ashley. Good good lord. I don't fucking want... Actually, you know what? Then again, Caden has... Oh, take Ashley, fucker. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I'll have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it. 
but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Yeah, folks. You racist cunt. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concern. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. Silent Steph, who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the Ever Alert, who kept armies at bay with hidden traps. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Love is an always answer. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. All right, uh, we're going to bring Tally because we're going to be fighting a lot of Geth. And yeah, you know, fuck it. We'll go with the Dream Team. And yeah, we'll keep Rex out of the breeding chambers, as they call it. Come on, the Colossal Free. Okay. You read me, Commander. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander. If you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay, uh, electronics. And basic armor. Ooh, we can unlock first aid. Oh, no armor, ammo. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. The extension, oh my god, we've got... Maybe give her high explosive rounds. Like double up on the frictionless material. There we go. Give her a good old boomstick. I don't know which is worse. The geth or all this sand in my never mind. How did sand get in there? It looks airtight. This world is beautiful. Too bad it's been contaminated by Serena. Yeah, why is Blea Aras not getting her health back? Yeah. Bit odd. Shadow right, whatever. On the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams with A Gore team. Manovai, Prieto teams, move. Time to get some attention. Oh. Manovai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the Geth target. Locations are caught. Uh, hurricane. Nope, that's not a hurricane. A hurricane is an SMG, not a shotgun. You're lying to me, game. Isn't there something up up above that we can shoot? Or is that must be on? A, might be on a next next checkpoint. 
Oh, we can. We have to walk under this, don't we? We don't walk over it. We walk under it. Some of the shit just looks too similar to each other. Something scrambled. They're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. Blink disrupted, very good. Get all my shields back as well. already killed the satellite, didn't we? Oh god. Oh, it's a Krogan. Get out of here. Oh yeah, she got the explosive rounds. find the uh oh, I got hacked oh is that my hacked that's still active oh what was that was that something behind us was that you was that you did you fire a carnage off guess so it's back here I think we have to go There you are. Wait, it's asking us to. I thought I had to destroy the fuel tanks. It's supposed to... the objective is supposed to be complete now. Weird. We can reload it. Oh. Oh wow, well, that's cute. There we go, Geth Flyers. I guess the two rocket troopers glitched out or something. Think we're good, right, okay, this is this. Okay, I think that's all three objectives. Oh no, we've got a far form where we have to divert the. Uh, Alarms, so we have to. F oh God! Oh God! You're out of fucking. That's not good. Oh my God! Team. What is this? No Dick Eddery? <laughs> what the hell? Dick Eddery's welcome. Ah, thanks for the... Okay, now, look at you. Thanks for the red vein. Handsome devil, you. Oh, shit. 
guy's about to kill me. How was your, how was your uh, stream? Not a gathering? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forget I have rules sometimes. I think I have to put rules. Uh, Twitch twists your arm for first time chat and makes you put rules in for first time chatties. Hey, sit down. Hit him, hit him with a warp. I'm doing it. It's going fine. We started off with uh, some Halo, played some Halo Combat Evolved, did the uh, library mission. Because I've been playing through the uh, Halo on legendary difficulty, solo. Because I like to torture myself and whatnot. And then I switched to. Uh... Ooh, stilettos. Nah, it's not worth it. Even if it's not Colossus 10, it's still. You know, one slot is better than yeah whatever but yeah hate uh hate myself so i'm playing halo on solo legendary but we managed to get to, through the library which is like the uh very flood heavy level where you have to follow guilty spark around and go from like floor to floor i managed to do it fairly well but i took my time doing it i played like overly cautious so it took about an hour and a half to do but uh, yeah, and then I guess what we got left is like the last few, I think we've got three levels left, which is like the Maw, no, Key, Super Trails, Keys, and the Maw, which uh, are going to be absolutely brutal. What were you playing anyway? I had to like, I built a new computer recently, so I haven't like finished uh, Doctrinated. I haven't finished my uh, resetting up stuff. Gram rail. What are these fools doing? Get out. Sit down. Gotta do the whole thing above. I think I remember how to do this. No, that's not that. That's not the right one. It's still set up correctly. Mysterious. I think I spelled your name right. Ah, uh, it's not set up properly. Ooh. God damn it. Chat highlight settings, chat settings. And oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, I remember there being a... They introduced a, a feature where you can shout people out. But it's like ages ago. But I've never actually used it. Like, a, like an actual formal shout out that you get notified of on uh on twitch bizarre should be able to just click your name and do it right <laughs> uh gift of silver uh, shout out it doesn't give me the option to shout you out it gives me the option to ban you <laughs> it's fucking dumb why would you why this managed suspicious suspicious user ah fuck it Fuck it. Ban him. No, not 13. His presence makes the uh, stream feel more handsome. I'm not going to make this place handsome by myself. Oh, damn. But yeah, I built a computer recently. So I haven't... I'm missing some of the stuff. access to base security. We can put the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. They've got enough trouble. Yes, yeah, let's, let's give them. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yay! But yeah, I've uh, been playing through different games lately. I've uh, been playing Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, slowly playing through this single player. I actually kind of took a bit of a pseudo break from streaming because. Uh, well, not an official break. It was more like I, I stream. I went from streaming like several times a week to just once, maybe twice. Been busy in my life with uh, moving into my girlfriend's place, uh, getting my finances sorted, technical problems which involved me building a new computer, stuff like that. So we're getting there, uh, and also just juggling games. Sometimes I just 
end up getting Cravens to play several games at once. Pretty dumb. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow I'll be playing Divinity Original Sin 2, which is like a point-and-click role-playing game. I've been playing it co-op with friends for the past couple of weeks. Uh, past few, oh no, couple weeks, past few months. But I'm actually going to start playing it solo tomorrow, so I can actually, you know, pay attention to the story and, and take it at my own pace. Put a new CPA in front of the motherboard, so really nice, nice. I had to. Uh, that was the thing. That's the thing I got. That, that, where, that was kind of the reason why I ended up building a new computer, funnily enough, was the CPU. Uh, a lot of the games I wanted to play, uh, my my PC, my old PC's uh, CPU was, was kind of lacking because it only had like a 3.2 gigahertz clock speed and a lot of the games I wanted to play were like 3.4, 3.6. And then like with the motherboard I had, it was like, it was like... Uh, I'd have to spend like £300 for a CPU upgrade and it was only going to be 8th gen so it's kind of an obsolete model and it would have been like okay I've upgraded my PC which will only last me be of any use to me for another one year you know so I ended up uh, so I was like oh shit now I have to replace my motherboard I have to replace CPU does my power supply work and then I've got a GPU that was like a 1070 Ti so I was like Ugh. So I, anyway, I ended up building a new computer from scratch. It's the first time I ever built a new computer, and let me tell you, it's the most infuriating thing I've ever done. Anyone who says it's easy is a liar, or has like years and years of experience. What do you want? I told you everything. I, who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, SDG man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. He's not part of the mission. No. No, I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. 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 <laughs> yeah, I think mine took about... Well, it was a total of uh, 12 hours, but I, you know, or 12 to 15 hours, but it was like, I took a long break, like I, you know, went to bed, I had, I went out for a meal. It was one of them, I was just getting, I, I was, it, everything was going well up until the point where it came to the, uh, getting the AIO cooler in place. These graphics, I'm dead. Yeah, this. Oh, yeah. By the way, we're playing the original version. We're not playing the uh, legendary edition. That's why the game looks like crap and has a weird frame rate. It, the frame rate is. Right, let's have a look. What are we got? One sixty FPS, forty-seven. Oh god! Actually, that that uh, that performance overlay actually makes the performance worse. <laughs> oh no! You've not played this series, shit. This is a classic. This is like, you look at the jet, you look at the uh, Xbox 360, PS3 generation of games. I don't know what they are. are they seventh? Is it seventh gen, eighth gen? If you look, watch the. If you like, this is like, it's essential. Like it's like top, like it's like essential. It's like you know Mass Effect, Mass Effects, uh, Halo 3, bloody. Bioshock, Fallout New Vegas, like you, part of the part of the list of like essentials, you know. Well, you're not a gat, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you, Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the Third Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base. The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. 
I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. All right. Uh, t -t 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 -t. yeah, the uh, building the computer, the hard, like, they, everything was going well, and then it, then the fucking cooler happened with the uh, lack of instructions and labeled screws and like the, it came, it came with no manual or instructions, and like even the YouTube video provide that was on the, the official website of the of the supplier basically skipped skipped steps. And I was like, well, the step I need is, 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 is the one that you skipped. You know, like, I don't understand how the fuck this thing is attaching to this. And then uh, the graphics card, I mean, it's a big hulking mess. It's uh, the 40 series, so it's ginormous. And then you got the bracket. Ugh. Cable management, non-existent. I thought, my, I thought the case I bought was big enough, but it is pretty cramped in there. So I could probably do with a bigger case, but... Whatever, I don't really feel like opening up that computer. <laughs> don't feel like it. Maybe in like two years time when I upgrade the processor to a D to like AM5 or DDR5 stuff. These look docile. Their minds are gone. What drove Saren to this? It is cruel beyond measure. Yeah. Cause I want I wouldn't mind more hard drive space, like another M dot. SSD or like some more because I bought the reason why I bought this hard this 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 case is because it had like three hard drive bays It was a uh, you know because I had like two one terabyte hard drives And I, I, I guess I can also mount like normal SATA SSDs around the back of it, but so the cable management is non-existent I mean originally I would I would have wanted the uh, Corsair like 7000 D where it's like a Fucking fridge. It's just a. It's just a. Fr it's a fridge, you know. Colorful. Uh, it's colorful enough. If I can. Got a bit of RBG, RGB in it. Uh, I actually bought some actual uh, extra fans from Corsair with the white white LED fans but there was literally nowhere to no space for them in there but it's under it's under my desk so the the RB, RGB stuff isn't really doesn't really matter like my last computer didn't have any RGB whatsoever and besides I think RGB would really fuck like I, if I had like a computer on the desk of RGB like you just see cut my face changing colors you know what I mean like not good for lighting or production you know how it is but it works, it hasn't blown up yet, so it's a success. Better to die than to live like this. Just kill them where they stand, Shepard. Are you certain? It's what I would want. Can we loot him? No, oh, Renegade. It was Mercy, not Renegade. Yeah, there is a bit of a morality system in this game. You can go like Renegade, which is the uh, no shits given, badass, naughty naughty, and then there's the para pussy paragon, goody two shoes one. Go this way. I think we've got more enemies back here. I don't know. Honestly, I go Renegade because it's more entertaining. Like some of the lines and and insults and badass quips that come out of you, like you're supposed to be a badass soldier, so you got to behave like it, you know. Oh Jesus! 
Why is that? Why the hell is the AI hacking? On cooldown for Tally, that's not right. Okay, I should probably turn off uh, active power usage for my teammates now. I'm trying. I'm actually losing out on some of the powers I want to use. Oh shit! Crazy fucker, get out of here! I mean, here's the thing. I don't. The thing is, it like you're not inheritable. I mean, you can do evil shit. But it, you're not evil. You know what I mean? Like. You're just a dickhead. You're like Dr. House, you know? Like, he's not evil, but he's a dick. But he does. But he's a dick that saves lives, you know? I don't know. If, you, I guess if you've seen House MD, you'll get, get the reference, but. Kind of the easiest way to describe it. Okay, let's have a little gameplay. Okay, defense only, there we go. So yeah, you get, you get what I mean, right? So like, you know, like, like is, is House a good guy? No. Does he save lives? Yes. That makes him a hero, like an anti-hero sort of deal, I guess. We go outside. No, we can't. I think this is the way, this is the front door, if we didn't go through the sewers. You can kind of play that role. I mean, in Mass Effect 1, it's kind of uh, limited, but in Mass Effect 2, it's just full balls to the wall, like, you just say shit like, you'd like threaten to poke people's eye, like, you like threaten someone to, f to like, drink, you're like, you, I don't know, how do I word this? So you're like, you've, there's a, there's a scene in a bar where you buy a drink, but the bartender poisons you, but because you're like a cybernetic badass, you come back like two seconds later, and the and the and the bartender is like, uh, 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 and you're like, you just you just you you say drink it or I'll poke your eye out one at a time. <laughs> the bartender is just shaking and then just drinks. Yeah, that's the kind of badassery you can get. Hey, it's a scientist. Yoink. Oh shit. Is he an engineer? Where are the guards? Where's Dr. Dryas? Oh shit, that's a lot of explosions. No. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started. Okay, can we can we use our powers now? Not a fan of you using tech powers against us, no sir. Oh wow, well, that's that high explosive bullets. <laughs> oh no! No! Stop giving biotic amp. Stop giving them savant biotics. I want the bloody tech one. We don't need any more. God damn it, game. Stop giving Liara. I mean, there's not even much difference between rank 8 and rank 9. It's just one second of cooldown. But seriously, like, stop giving, stop giving them. Give me my Savant Omni tool, damn it. I want, I want the good stuff. You're killing me, game. You're absolutely killing me. I'm already powerful as it is, but I want to, I want more power. I don't even know what I'm using. Nexus Five. The game's been giving out the uh, Omni tools like it's like can uh, giving out biotic amps like candy, but fuck all for the tech guy. Oh, she's hiding. What's she doing under the table? Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. 
Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Granith the Noctis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I could help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. This runner deserves to die, but I'm going to let her live. Uh, I try and stream at least twice a week. So this week I'm doing, going to be doing three streams a week this week. Uh, be doing Divinity Original Sin 2 tomorrow night and... Probably Deep Rock Galactic the night after, but uh, yeah, stream three times a week. Although the schedule is uh, a bit inconsistent because uh, my my shift pattern is uh, four days in, four days off, or four nights in, four nights off. So I can't really stream the same day every week. So I usually like post on Discord and uh, the YouTube community tab, and I try and make a habit of using the, ske the Twitch scheduling feature as well to uh you know give people a bit of heads up of when i'm going to stream like kind of, you know try, try and announce a few days ahead ahead of time what what days we're streaming and what games but yeah usually try and do tw twice a week why is saren researching this isn't he the one controlling it the signal comes from the ship it makes us obey saren but i don't think he controls it not exactly I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There's some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Ah! I believe you enjoyed that, Shepard. Eh, uh, it's a tiny bit. Intel rapport. Is this a side quest or just codex crap? Codex crap, right. Ah! <gasps> God damn it, game. Diddling me. But yeah, the games I play um, varies. I mean, I do play a lot of Mass Effect related content, uh, but I've. Playing a lot, of, uh, mostly it's mostly single player games. I don't really, I don't really try and play with uh, multiplayer games, uh, at least uh, P P PvP. It's a mixed bag. I'm a variety streamer, so yeah. Play, uh, I play. Uh, I've been playing lately, like I said, Divinity Two Co-op, Halo, a bit of Saints Row here and there. 
Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. You don't know what a beacon looks like. What What do you know? Who have you been talking to? Uh, Fallout 4, occasionally. I play that on survival mode. <laughs> the only way to play some Fallout. Uh, also Resident Evil. I'll be trying to play Resident Evil again soon. I think I'm up to Revelations 2. And also, the, I guess the remake of 4 is coming out soon, so I might have to just skip forward to that. If that's survival horror, not survival games. I guess uh, it depends what your definition of survival is. Like, uh, so I do like Fallout 4 survival mode because it's literally like no fast travel. Everything's a glass cannon. You got to eat, drink, and sleep, and stay healthy. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Ah, seven days to die and... Or, okay, nah, I don't... I don't even know if I even own any games like that, to be honest. Hmm. I think so. I don't think I do. I'd be open to the idea of it, though. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship, Saren Bell. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Okay, Jadam. Uh, your dumb bits. I don't know how do I pronounce that. I want to say your dumb bits. Or your dumb bit. <laughs> but uh. No first way. Good on bits. But, uh, like. What? I like to think, uh. What, okay, so, like, for a newcomer to, like, the survival genre, what game would you recommend? Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Giving away a lot, a lot of information. Minecraft is survival. Yeah, Minecraft is technically survival. But again, I, I preferred Minecraft. I, I, this is going to sound like sacrilege, but I think my favorite version of Minecraft was on the Xbox 360. It didn't. Ha it had like like when it first came out on, on console. That's that was my favorite type of version of of a uh, Minecraft because it didn't have. It wasn't overloaded with crap, but it had like you know 
it had plenty of content, but not too much content, you know what I mean? Because sometimes, like Team Fortress 2, for example, there was a time where it had just the right amount of stuff. Now it's like you play it and it's like this, you don't know what the fuck's going on. You've got millions of weapons and, and hats and skins and you don't know what the hell to do, you know? Sometimes, like, less is more, you know? Quality over quantity. I do own ter Terraria. I think I played, about it, played it for like 20 minutes. I couldn't get into it, but... Yeah, you know, I think that's because when I played it, it was with co-op, and I was like, oh, I don't understand this game at all. Who knows? You're playing it right now? What, the uh, Minecraft or Terraria? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Ah. Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Boris is a little more hardcore survival, so... Yeah. Well, I guess, like, depends on, like... like. I mean, you could turn, like, a lot of... Um... Basic game, I don't know. It depends on the extremes. Like I remember, like like say, like Sky, okay, Skyrim survival mode that you can get on the Creation Club. Like that, you 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 play for like five minutes and you're already thirsty with a minus like fifty percent stamina regen penalty and minus fifty like a ridiculous penalty to penalty to your uh, magicka regen or whatever. It's it's. Uh, you know, stuff like that, where it's like a little bit of, like, like I, I, my lips are dry. I take, you know, that massive penalty. That's what Skyrim survival is. I think, I think it's hard to get survival right in some games, uh, just based on my smart, what little experience I have. Like, it, it needs to be like fine because you don't want it to be like over penalizing where you have to like drink water every two seconds you know but you don't want to make it you don't make it too hard you don't make it too easy so it seems like a balance um a game i did like uh did play and enjoy was stardew valley it's not necessarily a survival game but it is a very big time ma and energy management game you don't need to like eat in that game but you know you have to make you have to like Every minute of, the, of that day, like, has to be, and all your energy has to be made, used, like, it's precious, you know? If that makes sense. Well, you can get into Skyrim or Stardew. I mean, to be fair, with Skyrim, it's a complete, a completely optional to play that in survival mode. And it's like a... DLC anyway, or unofficial DLC. It's kind of crap, to be honest. <laughs> Difficulty and balance in Skyrim has always been, it's is always, and Elder Scrolls in general, it is kind of, it's kind of whack. Stardew, uh, I don't know, Stardew is a fun game. I think my only criticism of Stardew is the passage of time is way too fast. So it, it is a good idea to, like, maybe put in a mod to like let you like slow it down because I feel like you blink and a day's passed by you know I want to play Stardew on stream again at some point but I got a big to-do list of crap to get through what do you want from us slaves resources my kind transcends your very understanding we are each a nation independent free of all weakness you cannot even grasp the nature of our existence where did you come from who built you we have no beginning we have no end we are infinite millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten we will endure where are the rest of the reapers are you the last of your kind we are legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. 
Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This All right. is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out. Okay, off we go. Uh, it's, it's, you have OCDs, so I always spent... I spent all the energy clearing out land and then couldn't do anything the next day and it was boring me. Yeah. Again, like half of it, it's like, what do you do for that first month? You gotta talk to all the NPCs to learn them. Learn them. You gotta do, you gotta find, figure out if you're gonna be a farmer or a. Or a miner or a fisherman, you know, there's different ways. I mean, you can play co op on that game where, like, one person does all the farming and another person does the mining. Yeah, but yeah you can like play that game in different ways you know sometimes you don't even need to you can't you can play that game without even farming you can be a you can be a uh, fisherman or, 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 a, or a farmer but if you want to rebuild the community center you're gonna need to uh Okay, this guy's running towards us. Get the fuck out of here, you little bastard. <laughs> oh, look at that. Best way to deal with those Krogan. If they're running towards you, you just lift them. Gravity's one mean mother. Oh, wait, that's the Mass, Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of time management and energy management in Stardew Valley, which can be a bit overwhelming. Like, I remember, like, when I was playing it, I was, like, I was enjoying it, but I was getting depressed because I was like, jam, I can barely manage my own fucking life, let alone this artificial one, you know what I mean? Like, all this lack, like, I, I, you know, IRL, like, my time management, energy management, and money management is complete dog shit. And then you play a game, and it's, and I do the complete, I make all the same mistakes I do in real life. It's like... <laughs> I came here to escape, not relive. You know? Like playing a game and you go and you make an alt account and, and still make the same mistakes on a second playthrough. I don't know. Imagine Dark Souls as a survival game, like the oh like they make it made a Souls game that was survival where you could like Where you could like, you know. Oh, off he goes. Where you had to like eat and sleep and drink, drink throughout the game. I swan there's another chest we could open. No? Back here, maybe? Boop. Boop. Right, uh... Exoskeleton. What's... Okay. Okay. Oh, 
we would give it double dip in, into uh, cooldowns over here for a uh, tally. Give a more uh, cooldown. Yeah. We should be good. How long have we been streaming for? Six and a half hours. Yeah, I think we soon. I think we'll, when we finish this mission, we'll. Uh, We'll call it a st oh god, what, what are you guys? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> call it a stream after this lap mission. Was it, uh, what's it? Nearly four o'clock in the morning? For me? It seems like a good time to uh, finish. I'm actually pretty hungry as well. Okay, a little night out. Yeah, I work night shifts, but I try and keep the night shift pattern uh, even on my days off. Oh, there goes all my fucking powers. Jesus Christ, did he sabotage me and fucking dampen me at the same time? Oh, there's two of them over there. Not good. Clear this this dump. All right, nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Yeah, just prefer nights though. Wouldn't mind changing back to days at some point. I wouldn't mind having a a, a week a, a job where I, where I can uh, stream on the same like have the same. Well, instead of having four and four off, I could have like four and three off or sort of five days a week. That way I can like at least stream the same time, the same days every week. That'd be nice. Is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. All right. Uh, we'll bring these clowns with us. Hey, we leveled up. Okay, another little bit of two, a little bit of defense, a little bit of shields, and a little bit of defense. There we go. Level are we now? Fifty-two. That sounds good to me. Okay, is there any? Oh God! Okay. Okay, that's a Gef ghost over there. Hack it. Mind. Uh, singularity. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're t oh no, we'll get shield. Overload the shields first. And we dampen them so we can't. They can't use powers. Uh, 
lift you. Oh shit, there's another Krogan here. Warp and sabotage. Oh, he's going absolutely berserk here. God damn it, don't don't die, Liara. Throw him! Okay, nice work, Tally, with the shotgun. Yeah, there we go. More frictionless materials, so she can stack them up. Go. Uh. Okay, this is my favourite part of the game, where we get to blow up Ashley Williams for being. Oh, but Kevin's boring. But Kevin can tell the animals from the aliens, which is a very very good reason to keep her keep him alive for diplomatic reasons also I, I like Highland I'm, we're going on Highlander rules here there can only be one ash on the, on the ship the I ain't dying hold on lieutenant I'm coming back to get you negative there's just too many of them I don't think we can hold them off I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Elenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Elenko. Rescue act. Elenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I. I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. I hope she dies with a fucking Geff rifle up her backside. <laughs> She's a terrible character. I can't. People's only defense of her is to shit on Caden. Like, <laughs> uh, I don't. Why is Why is Caden better? Why is Ashley better? Uh, Cause Caden's boring. Retards. Telling her to die. I fucking damn right transfer. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. I will destroy you. Who said that? Do we have a human? Oh, we do. Do we have a. Ah, never mind. We don't anymore. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, okay, you sabotage you. Hack you. Don't know if I can even hack that. Oh wait, they got sabotaged. I'm oh, giving Tally a bloody explosive round, uh, <laughs> explosive round uh, shotgun is pretty, pretty disgusting. I prefer the uh, Saren uh, encounter in the uh, other place where we left Ashley to die. Like it'd be that easy. I applaud you, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. Like in the other location, there's a bit where he like grabs hold of your throat, and picks you up, but like it's over the edge of the, like the cliff. But in this, it's just he just picks you up in the middle of the bloody <laughs> battlefield, about in the middle of the area. It's fucking, it's kind of dumb. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people, 
should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hermit it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. See about that. Okay, warp and dampen it. Oh wow, he's uh, firing off all of his shit, isn't he? This guy's a punk. They hold you over a cl cliff in the uh, other area. Okay, then I come back here to watch you have a bath. Ankle deep water. I mean. You can drown in ankle deep water. Go on, attitude adjustment. Oh, F5, right, F5. Hang on. Yeah, fuck that gun. Oh, it, even, it doesn't even show her fighting for her life. It, I think it shows Caden, like, shooting and fighting for her life, but not his life, but not. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. Hmm. How could we just leave her down there? Uh, it was you or her. There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. Why me? Why not her? I'm sorry, Caden. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know. And I am grateful. But Ash died because of me. Because of us. 
We have to go on. Williams is dead. We can't change that. But if we don't stop Saren, her sacrifice was made in vain. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. A fleshy bandage? Oh, where? Fleshy bandit bandage? How can I save the simp? Uh, because there could only be one. I hi we've been over this. I've, crabs, I've been over this several times. Space racist. Ew. Highlander rules. There can only be one ash on the ship at any given time. Two. She's just shit. Take three. Also, as a squad mate, like at least Caden's useful. <laughs> what does what does what does Williams bring? Bloody guns. Fuck Rex. Whatever she can do, Rex and Garrus do better with extras. Yeah, I like the simp. The simp's better. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. I want a brace eternity. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Bless you. Bandage over the bridge of her nose. Cyber Jack. I don't even know what a Cyber Jack is. Incredible. I, I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. God, she looks. She does look like she has a. She has like a weird like lump of flesh scar like around over a bridge of a. Yeah, I see what you mean. It looks like a. It does look like a plaster, but it looks like it was like prosthetically put under the skin. Like she had like a she had like a cut across on her n nose, so she put a plaster under the skin to heal it better. Because she ain't too smart. Most, uh, like, like I said, fucking most uh, people defend Williams by shitting on Caden. That's always been the case. I think they're both terrible. To be completely honest, they're both terrible, but like Caden's the lesser evil, and he he, he gets by, by by being an actual useful teammate in like terms of gameplay. It's like Miranda; she's fucking awful in Mass Effect Two, like absolutely awful. But she's also the best squad mate, so you gotta put up with her. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it and tell me what you saw. <laughs> a distress call. Yes. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! I've never heard that name before. I am not surprised. Ilos is in a region of space accessible only through the Mew Relay. But the Mew Relay was lost thousands of years ago. Nobody knows where it is. The fucking head bob. It wasn't even just head bobbing. It was upper torso bobbing. She was like, she wasn't like doing the D'Lo Brown like the fucking. No, she was. Her entire top body was like, like, uh, like C three PO just losing his shit. Goodness gracious, R oh, two. Fucking, I don't know. I don't know. It was that was weird. The animations in this game are weird. This gracious R2. That really lubricates my groinal socket. Ooh. Oooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
I recognize some of the landmarks from the photos and vids I'd seen during my research. I know of Ilos. I just do not know where it is. Are you saying it's hopeless? I am afraid so. Unless you somehow find the coordinates for the new relay, then it would be possible to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Oh, Joker, don't tell me you're sad about fucking Williams. They're not going to believe any of this. Not without proof. We'll just be wasting our time. Aye, aye, Commander. Sovereign will be sitting on Citadel's roof before those bastards will listen to us. Oh, you're not wrong. All right. I guess we'll just do a few chatty chats. Talk to. Let's see how Joker's in. You know, I, I don't like him. I, no, I don't like Ashley, but everyone else seems to. Yes, Commander. Oh, never mind. Ah! Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. After that, how could you carry on? <laughs> It's the curse of the pinnacle station. It's it's leaking into the gah, leaking into the rest of the game. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. I think I'll let the council live, uh, because one, it doesn't make a lick of difference by Mass Effect Three, and two, I really love the ah oh, yes Reapers line for Mass Effect in Mass Effect 2, so... Whatever. Sometimes making the tough choice is the only way a mission can succeed. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. All right. Uh, as for... Udina versus Anderson. It's weird because, like, when you pick between a Anderson and Udina at the end of uh, Mass Effect 1, uh, the save file actually happens uh, before that decision is made. So that's why, like, when you ask, get, get quizzed at the start of Mass Effect 2, you can actually change your mind and change to uh, Udina or change to Anderson. But, again, doesn't make a lick of difference by the time Mass Effect 3 comes out. By the time Mass Effect 3 comes around. I like to do Udina because he delivers the speech better. Okay, so okay, it's something wrong with the light. The light it's the lights that do do it. Hmm. You don't even make a difference though. Even by the end of, by even by Mass Effect 3, like the the full human council is non existent, right? They fucking just change their minds. I can't remember. I, you know, Mass Effect 3, I only played that all the way through once. I got half, I got about a third of the way through on the Legendary Edition, so. I know fuck all about what's going to happen. Yeah, oh, look at that empty space over there. <laughs> Lovely. You know what's creepy? It's like at the start of Mass Effect 2, Caden is wearing Ashley's, like, armor. It's fucking creepy. Okay, I've got to wear the clothes to this dead chick. I'm not making that up. I, I'm just, just... Seriously. I've got the, I can max out my pistol now. Oh, I already had that. I think uh, we need to. You know what? I think everybody else needs these. Oh, fuck it, it doesn't matter. What about you? What you got to say? It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was. Yeah, nothing matters by free. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. 
Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. I mean, to be fair, like, people, I don't think people shit on Mass Effect 3 because of the rainbow ending, you know, pick a colour. Like, I think that that pick a colour ending is, like, the final straw because there's a lot of shit in, throughout Mass Effect 3 that just didn't matter. Like, all the decisions you made in Mass Effect, like, Mass Effect, from going from, from 1 to 2, yeah, you see quite a few changes, but from, but by the time you get to 3, like, nothing matters. Nothing matters. Unless it's like key players like Rex or Morden, it really doesn't fucking matter. I think Rex and Morden were the only significant changes that it could happen with Mass Effect 3. But the whole Genophage stuff was a big deal, so... She knew what the risks were. Any of my officers would have done the same. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Oh, I guess Kirahi turning up in freeze nice. Gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Oh, mercenaries, medigel upgrade. Ooh, finally! Look at that! A parting gift! Finally, we get a savant for our engineer. Oh, look at that. Reach. Medigel recharge tech. Oh, God. Oh. Finally. We get ourselves a, a savant. Holding out on us. Right, I cannot. Mass Effect 3, what? I'd, I'd, I was playing my, my main team. I mean, to be fair, with Mass Effect 2, it was Miranda plus whichever teammate was best suited for the mission. So if we were going to be fighting a lot of shielded enemies, it'd be Garrus or, uh, or Kazumi. And if it was a lot of armoured targets, it would be, you know, Mardin or Zaid. The Curse of... these light enough well not every single light not every single light does it not every no I just need to find the sweet spot where it'll actually do it damn that's so bad I think it's I think it's graphic settings it must be something in the graphics that does that I could need to disable it all right well I guess so that'll be it we've been streaming for nearly seven hours and playing Mass Effect for nearly five of those so Jack and Grunt I wouldn't mind Jack so much if she wasn't shit like the, but she's a problem is she, she, biotics are only good in cutscenes in Mass Effect 2 I mean uh, what, the only powers worth using in pow, biotic powers worth using in Mass Effect 2 is reeve warp and charge and I guess barrier maybe banner ad Fentanyl. What the hell's fentanyl? Time to get. What I need to. Whatever. What the hell is this? Fentanyl. Put the blur on. Oh, anyway. End of it. I guess I'll end the record. Local recording. For the for the YouTubes.